Oh, hi. I'm Dan Armstrong. I'm the CEO and CTO of Beanfield MetroConnect. For those that may not know us, we're a fiber optic based telecom provider uh, with operations in downtown Toronto and downtown Montreal. Um, I'm speaking to you today because I have been using technology for a lot more than just my career. Um, when I was a very young child, I didn't get along with my peer group like most people do. I was a weird outcast kind of kid. I grew up in a very middle class neighborhood with lots of other, you know, very successful white kids around that loved sports and I just didn't fit into this group. And it was only when I stumbled across a piece of technology, um, which in its day was pretty revolutionary, but I'm going to date myself by talking about it. I got a CB radio, which when you think back is essentially the precursor to the internet and social media. What it did is it allowed me to talk to people that were outside of my neighborhood. And I was able to form a peer group of people, in other words, a community from people that were outside my immediate neighborhood, the ones that I wasn't connecting with. And I actually had a great experience and I felt very supported and very vindicated by this new community that I found through these electronic means. And that of course, in the uh, late eighties, early nineties gave way to something called computer bulletin board systems. Those were the direct precursor to the internet we know today. And I guess it was, no accident that I stumbled across a career uh, in internet connectivity because I also, um, growing up, hitting puberty throughout all of this, realized that I didn't look at girls the same way that my peer group was. I was actually looking at boys. Um, and I was very isolated again. And I managed to find a whole community you know, through the internet and through these computer bulletin boards to validate um, the fact that I wasn't weird, I wasn't broken. And in fact, there is a whole queer community out there uh, and a wonderful support network for people. Then we're not weird and we can do whatever we want in life. And without that electronic means of communication, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. Um, it's been wonderful and I've, you know, formed friendships and wonderful relationships all over the world. Um, I've met most of my friends, certainly, you know, through many degrees of separation, my partner, um, through electronic means. And it really is fundamental to my, un my belief that you can form communities, not just necessarily in the geographic area around you, but through many many ways, some of them electronic. Um, I think it's been pretty obvious that this has been a fantastic way to get us through the pandemic. Uh, as much as we all hate Zoom, I don't know what we would have done without it. Um, but community is a very important thing. And <clears throat> if we can stick together and help each other and work as one, we can conquer just about anything. So. That is my story and how technology and has helped me get to become the gay CEO of a fairly large telecommunication company.